Okay, we're gonna dive into firewalls a little more. So first of all, this is the firewall one server uh, that I started and I'm going to get this nice little message broadcasting that says the name of a server. Let's leave it there, server one. I'll just write the same script over here. So coming back here, so this going to my EC2 dashboard, I have, should have three instances running. Um, so I want to go to firewall two, copy this IPv4 address. I hope this is the different one. Anyway, you know what? Let's just do this. Always on top. Always on top. So SSH EC2 dash user at in this other IP paste. Yeah, I haven't seen it before. So yeah, this is the other one. So uh, I'm just going to get the same thing going here. Um, export x equals zero while x equals zero do wall server two sleep ten done. Okay. So that's server two. This is server one. So I want to show something. Um, this is going to be a little hard. So let's put this down here. Server two, server one. Come back to instances. And I want to go to server one. That's where I created a firewall in the last video. Okay. So get the IP address there. Let's grab a new tab and detach. That didn't do what I wanted it to, but hey, there we go. Um, okay, so SSH, oh, that's too big. Now I see what I did wrong. Uh, minus. So it's already big, so I just want to make this bigger. So SSH EC2 dash user at, and this should be server one. I'll, I'll know pretty quick because it should tell me because I'm walling. Yep, there's server one. Sweet. So if we do sudo firewall dash cmd dash dash list dash all, we should see the rules that were here and we're allowing SSH, DHCP, and HTTP. Cool. Um, now, this is where things are going to get weird. Um, I'm going to allow masquerading. So, sudo. I'm just going to copy and paste. So there's the command. I'm copying and pasting because with this stupid command running every 10 seconds, I don't want it to broadcast in the middle of me typing. It won't mess up what I'm typing, but it will look odd. Okay. So, and for kicks, I'm going to, so now I've add masquerading. So let's just hit the up arrow twice, list all. And I can see that masquerading is set to yes. Masquerading means you can pretend to do something. So now I'm going to do sudo and I'm going to point port two, 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 two. to port 22. Oh, and I just missed that. Rah, rah, rah. To port 22. Anyway, I'll show you in the history. Enter. Nope. Zone equals public. Zone equals public. Misting destination. Oh, that's because. You know We're going to set dash OVI so I can edit this. Man, that is such a pain.
22 port equals 22. Okay, sweet. It says it was a success. Let's see if I got it right. List all. Okay, I'm doing port 22 to port TCP to port 22, and I'm not giving it to address. Okay, cool. So now I should be able to control C, and I need to come here, and I need to go to my security group. Remember, this is for my instance that's listed firewall one, so the security group, and I need to add another inbound rule. I'm going to put this up here. Edit inbound rules, because I'm going to allow, add rule, port one, two, three, four, five, five twos from anywhere. Okay. And so what I'm doing on port one, on server one, is I'm taking anything that comes to that port and I'm redirecting it to port 22, which is SSH. So I'm going to control C and I'm going to exit. I'm going to hit the up arrow. And all I need to do is I come here, I do dash P to give it the port one, two, three, four, five. And then everything else should be the same and it should log me in. Cool. And it should say I'm still on server one. See server one, even though I went to a different port. Now let's play with it even more. So let's first, um, if we hit the up arrow, it's, it's, actually, we're not going to hit the up arrow. We're gonna, we're gonna, yeah. Let's list all. We're going to do sudo firewall dash cmd dash dash zone equals public man and we're going to do dash dash remove dash forward dash port um equals and this so you see how annoying it is with that message um I anyway, cool, success. So I should be able to list all, and that's gone. Cool. Now, if I just hit the up arrow and instead of remove, man, that is really bad. Let's do this. I need to fix equals, and I want to, oh, man, that's so bad. I'm going to put this somewhere else. You know what? Let's not have these always on top. Okay. So I'm just going to copy this and fix that. And I'm also going to add, if we look here again, in fact, let's just put this down below. If we do the list all, oh, before, can I get to it before? It had this two adder as well. So let's copy that. And we're going to do colon two adder. And we're going to change it to be the server two EC2 dashboard. That's funny that hasn't updated. Firewall two and copy this IP address. So I'm going to come back here. So what I'm going to do is when Someone comes to the port on my firewall one box. I'm going to send them to SSH on my firewall two box. Cool. Let's copy that. Come here. And paste. Oh, what did I do? Ha, no sudo. Sudo. Paste. Come on. Control C. Sudo. 
copy, paste. Okay, cool. So now if we list all, we can see that it's here and it's pointing at server two. So let's exit. And let's hit the up arrow. So this is logging back into server one. I mean, it was sending us the stupid, annoying messages. Yes. So I'm here and this is server two. So I logged into, logged into the port on server one and it redirected me. I didn't actually log in. It just redirects me and I, I logged into server two. Cool. So, um, by the way, if I look at history, none of that's here. I haven't done anything on this box other than log in and write that little command. So uh, that's still running, so it's not in my history. So I'm going to exit out of this. And if I hit the up arrow, if I take port 22 off, I'm back. <laughs> Pack it the other one and I can see all the commands. So I'm going to quickly come to these windows and I'm going to control C and control C so that it stops sending that. Um, I'm going to clear this and I'm going to do history. So I'll be able to copy and paste this in. So we did some weird stuff, um, but it's something to, good to know uh, so that you can actually take a zone a port on one server and if someone hits that port it doesn't interact with that server other than just handing it off um i i talked to a student the other day trying to help them understand this and i say it's a forwarding so think of it when you forward your phone you don't actually pick it up at the other location it just magically goes to the other phone so that's what we did we forwarded it to another server then didn't log into the first server at all it just forwards it Okay, uh, I hope that's good. Uh, I really should do another one because um, I probably won't because I don't like opening the ports to the world. It's best to lock it down to a specific subnet. Um, so I might do that in the future, but uh, I have some other videos I'm going to do first. Uh, so that's the this two-part series on firewalls, uh, Linux firewalls. Have a good one.